Hello, and welcome to The Reasonable Businessman. My name is Luke, and I'm here to help you understand business concepts. If you are here to pass a test, move along, this is not the video for you. If you're here because you read something and you want to understand it, that's what I'm here for. I'm hoping to make this very applicable to your life or very applicable to your business, um, and it's really breaking down in layman's term. I'm not trying to help anyone pass the test here, although if your test is conceptual, maybe it'll help, I don't know. So, Having that said, this is our first episode, so we will go over a very fundamental topic, the SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis is an analysis to go over your whole company. It can also be applied to a person, a division, a group, a product. Uh, it's really very general. It applies to just about everything. I can do a SWOT analysis on this, biz, on this video that I'm recording right now, but what it does is it looks at um, everything involved with that business, I'm going to refer to it all as business because, but or a company. So you're looking at everything with that company, seeing what you're doing well, seeing what you're doing bad, seeing what you can do better, and seeing or not, so you can do better, and seeing what opportunities you can take advantage of, as well as what threats you're facing. The purpose of this is all mindset. There's nothing in this that's a secret and we'll cover touch a bit more on that later but this whole concept is just to get your mind wrapped around it so what you're looking at is you have strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats that's what SWOT is SWOT and SWOT analysis looks at your strengths what you're doing well which typically means what you can capitalize on not always but usually if you're making burgers and you make very delicious burgers that pulls people in from around the world Great. If you're making burgers and your strength is your location, say you're on a highway where no one else is around for miles and that's where people stop to get food, great. That's your strength. Your weakness is something you're bad at. That is maybe your french fries taste horrible or you know you have too much salt on them. Uh, maybe your weakness is your location is has too much rent. You can't afford the rent for the amount of burgers you're selling or maybe you can afford it but it's just too expensive. Now both of those are internal. I'll come back to the minute, come back to that in a minute, but keep in mind those are internal. Your external, on the other side, is your opportunities and threats. Opportunities is what's going on in your external environment, what's going on around you, what's happening in the world that you can take advantage of. This can be something you're already in the progress of taking advantage of, um, or this can be something that just happened, something that you've been seeing and you don't really know if you can do anything with it yet, but it's out there. On the other side, you have the threats. Uh, obviously, these are something that's threatening your business. So uh, if your opportunity is the ability to franchise, the ability to sell your company for something larger, maybe open a new one, maybe a new type of burger, those are opportunities you can take advantage of. Um, a threat would be a new burger joint right across the street from you. Um, and those don't have to be that direct. So it can be a gas station that opens up across the street from you. You don't really think about a gas station competing with a burger joint, but if you're in that location where there's nothing for miles around, people driving across country are going to stop by your burger joint for food. Now they're going to stop at a gas station for gas, and then they'll just get some donuts. Not as good as a burger, but it's still an op another opportunity that they're going to take. So those two are your external. Those are very much outside. Things you can do something about, usually, um, but not not things that are internal, not things that are already happening within your company. So we already have our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Now the question is, when will I use this? I first want to say, do not invest money in an analysis, at least not a SWOT. If you're going to pay money for someone to come in to do this analysis, what they're going to do is they're going to do the market research. They're going to see what's going on around the world. They're going to look at all your numbers and everything. And then they're going to sit down and do this SWOT with you. And then they're going to charge you extra for that. Instead, if you're going to invest in anything, do the market research. See where the food trends are going for your burger joints. See if there's any other place you can sell your burgers. Maybe you can freeze your burgers and sell them retail. Do that research and then sit down for 10 minutes on a SWOT. That's really all this takes. Um, so you're sitting down and you're getting your mindset in it. I mentioned that earlier. You're putting your mind in this structured form to look at everything. 
none of this information is secret. None of this is something that you will only access if you go through a school or watch this YouTube video. Plenty of people can do this intuitively. Plenty of people do this all the time, but because they don't have the structured mindset, they'll miss a step. You may be great at looking at your strengths and weaknesses. A lot of entrepreneurs can say, okay, I'm really good at this burgers. Um, I'm really bad at the finance. So I hired a CPA. Okay, I'm good. Maybe I can look at what opportunities are out there, keep my eyes on the horizon. They forget about the threats. Or maybe they you know, are so focused on the threat they don't pay attention to the opportunities. If we don't put our mind in a structured mindset, you'll forget things. You just won't consider them relevant to take up your mind because we all know running a business uh running a you know being a manager or any t any time that you're going to be using a swat those jobs are always difficult and they always take up a lot of your brain space so being able to sit down and not just think of everything on a blank piece of paper but sit down in a structured mind and make sure you cover all your bases is what you'll use a swat for so if those are all for a company you can apply these to a product. If you look at, we'll say McDonald's opened a new salad or started a new salad. Great. The obvious thing is an op is their strength is they've been doing salads for a little while now. Um, that's something they've kind of got some expertise in by now doing those fast food. Uh, the weakness is that they have a reputation for being um, unhealthy and they're not as good at making the salads fresh or having blueberries, something like that. The opportunities could be that there's a whole new market with the health trends out there that they can capitalize on. And then the threats could be uh, the transportation costs for the fresher foods, something along those. That could also be a weakness uh, because it's the way you're managing your own distribution costs, but uh, depending on how you look at it, it can be both, and that'll happen a lot in these. So let's do it at a, at a product. You can do it in personnel. If you're doing an evaluation for an employee, this is a great way to look at what are they good at, what are they bad at, and it doesn't sound as much like um, critique. You know, even though the positive critique and all the phrases they use for it are still, no one likes to hear them. But if you say, okay, here's your strengths, here's your weaknesses, oh, that weakness sucks. Here's your opportunities, that's great, and here's the threats that are keeping you from those. That is a very much more forward-thinking mindset. So that's when you use a SWOT analysis. Uh, thank you for listening to my video. I really hope that you can benefit from it. I hope that it helps. I am perfectly happy explaining any concept. I've gone over a lot of these. I've helped a lot of different entrepreneurs, a lot of different students, um, just understanding what's going on. So if you want to leave a comment and have a request, um, I can answer anything. I'll do a whole video. I'll be doing graphics and things. And, with the SWOT analysis, it's four letters, so I'm sure you can keep track of everything. I don't think I need to write out my whiteboard or do any graphics and pop-up letters. But if you have any requests, I'm perfectly happy to answer those. I'm here to help. Um, having that said, I am trying to get the word out. I know how YouTube works. You have to do the like and subscribe and all of those things. Please do those if you don't mind. Share these and get them out. Uh, just want to help people understand these things. Have a good day.